So, hello, it's Starhawk11, and today I am showing you the basics of command blocks. So, I have this whole setup here for command blocks, and we'll start off with what I have here. So, um, this is just the message, the intro that I do, and the command is... Okay, first of all, I'll explain to you how command blocks work. You have to be in creative mode to change the command, but you can still run commands even if you're not. But basically you there's some well that works with any commands but at the beginning I just press the home key it says say and there's no slash there and if I go slash say hi it says it differently I suppose I, I didn't notice that before I'm kind of a noob never do these tutorials I'm not very well prepared Except for this one, this is very prepared. So I said, did say, and you don't need a slash for it in command blocks, and you have unlimited space, practically. And so I just click that. Hey guys, I'm Starhawk11, and today I'm showing you the basics of command blocks. So that's how that works. You could also do message. Um, I think MSG works at P. Oh, these are the unit of the specifiers at P to target nearest pl player it works like if I put Starhawk 101 there it would target me or at P it would target the nearest player it's basically the name so let's see if this works like well, dang it well anyway I think if you use mess slash message it works but I would use slash say for the time being next up we have a set block and we'll see what happens. So I want a command block. It just places this command block here. It's up on the pressure plate. Gives me a command block. What? What is this? What is this? I said the command block, but how? But it already had a command programmed? Yes. So there's another command called set block. And there's a lot more commands that you could do, but um, this is just the basics. And this was, I had to do some research on how to get this to work properly. So it's set block. And another thing about it, is relative coordinates tilde these are tildes I suppose or grave I don't know but these have relative coordinates so the first coordinate is relative negative 2 x and that moves it two places to the right according to where I am and if there isn't a number next to the sign it doesn't do anything it's just a filler I guess and then you have your ID what it is I think it's that block, that part two, and also this whole thing. And replace, I don't think that's necessary, but if you want to replace the block, I suppose I would go to the Minecraft wiki if you want more information. And then this is how you set a command. So, this is what was hardest. You do this sign at either end, and you do command colon quotation give or whatever command inside these quotations and it will set the command block with that and then I can I don't I didn't have a I am so unprepared hold on I'm gonna set a, f a few more command blocks just to illustrate my point be right back oh oh wait I already started the video sorry anyway so that's awkward. Hold on. I can show this. So, I'm in survival mode. So, I have this. And the command that you can do is game mode. I'm sure you all know this. Game mode 1, 0, 2, or 3. I'm pretty sure. 2 is adventure. I don't. I Actually, I think 3 is spectator mode in 1.8. But I'm in 1.7. So, 1 is creative. 0 is survival. So if I want to go to survival, I press this. Oh, it says at P. Just to target nearest player. Oh, and there's that. Oh, I'm in survival mode again. Yay. So I press this button. It says command block. Give me a command block. Next up right, is this, the weather. This is obvious. You know the weather command. It's weather and then what you want it to be. It's pretty sure it's, pretty sure it's thunder, rain, and clear and so 
changing to clear weather it's already clear so changing to rainy weather and as I'm high in altitude as you can see by the F3 menu which is open awkward it's snowing but when I press it to change to clear weather it changes it and there's an, something you could do with this I might show it at the end of the video I haven't set it up yet um, time time how you set the time is time set and if you want it to be night night um, day that's just the basic of doing it you can change it to 14,000, 12,000, 8,800, I don't know. I don't know all the specifics of time numbers, I suppose you could call them. Time numerals, I suppose. It's so time to 1,000, so it's time to 13,000. 1,000 is morning. Next up, we have this. Now we have this. It's difficulty. So you, you maybe on my Halloween special I did slash difficulty it's difficulty peaceful here and difficulty hard there so if I change it to the hard difficulty and I can change it back to peaceful now this is good because I have a summon hold on I'm just gonna do this negative one because I have another command block here for the game mode ah that's a good thing I have this then Anyway, I press it. it. It's starting to spawn, but it's for peaceful again. But if I click change it to hard, it will spawn. And another, and one thing that's not related to command blocks is if a zombie has a, or a zombie or skeleton has a helmet on, they won't burn in fire. I think it also works with pumpkins. But we'll change it to peaceful real fast. And that's all of these. Remember, um, there's a set block or set block, and I showed you that already. And now, we click on this button, and we go to an enchantment setup. What? Hmm. I'll just step on this pressure plate. Hey, give me 30 levels. I can get an enchantment. Snow, get out of here. No one likes you. No one likes you, Snow. Anyway. Hi! Hey, look, I got another sword. Wow, I can enchant twice. Sharpness 3. And sharp, not, sharpness 4, knockback 2, level 30s. I have 10 levels left. Let's walk back here. Taking 5 levels from Starhawk 101. Step back forward. Hot split. Taking 5 levels. And I'll just spam this again. Oh, I'm over 100. Oh, no. Oh, it's down to 100. Oh. And that's something. So what I'm doing here is I'm gonna flash game mode creative. Another thing if, with commands, if you press tab while you're trying to figure out what part of the command comes next, sometimes it will show you what to type. Um, and so what what's going on here is command blocks. Three of them. So this one, okay, I'll explain the XP command. So slash XP gives you experience. So you could give 35 experience orbs if there's no L here. Or you could give 35 levels if there's a capital L next to it. And, of course, specifier. So that gives me the 35 levels of experience. Then it gives me a Minecraft colon diamond sword, which gave me the diamond sword to enchant. Slash give give specifier what and then this one is a negative so if you you can't do this with um if it doesn't have the level next to it so it's negative five will take five levels from you and at p so this gives me 35 i use 30 on the enchantment table and take five away when i step off and then what this is is clear a hundred. It's minus one negative one hundred levels at P. Taking hundred levels. Now how I got back here is a teleport and you saw relative coordinates relative coordinates work with the T P command and it teleports you relative to where you are, not to where the command block is. I just figured that out as I was setting this up. So these coordinates eight, two thirty eight and 38.5. That's the X. If you go into F3, 
uh, uh, x, y, and z. So I have 8 through 38, so I don't like land in the block, and 38.5 will put me right here, right in the middle of this block. And that's what, that's the TP command. So I hope this helped you people who wanted to make some uh, adventure maps. And yeah, um, this, I, I asked uh, XKNT Dragon what he wanted me to, to do a tutorial on today. And he asked me to do command blocks. I know a little bit, but I had to do a lot of research to get this much stuff going. And this is actually really useful. So I can change the weather easily. I think this is it. No, that's the time. Change weather. And if it's snowing, I can just come over here and change the weather. And yeah. So that's going to end it for this tutorial video. Hope you found this useful. Hope you enjoyed. I'm Starhawk11. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all next time.